If you're receiving audio lag, this video is gonna be essential on how to get it fixed. Make sure you watch till the end because if the first step doesn't take care of it, one of the later steps will take care of it. So basically audio lag is just that. If you're saying something or hearing something in game and it's taking a while to get to you, and you see like, for example, your character shoot, but you don't hear anything for a few seconds, that could be a lag issue, or it could also be lag in kind of like voice chat as well. So we'll go over a few things here and make sure we get you all set. If you're hearing like echo in your ears, that's a little different than the lag. That's usually more of a voice chat issue with your microphone. I do already have a video for that that's pretty popular. I'll go ahead and post it up top in case that's what you're here for. But if you're here for just the audio lag, then you're here for the right spot. Let's go ahead and jump in the settings and show you. Some of these settings I'm gonna change as we go. So first thing we're gonna do is choose the three dots up here, and then we're gonna go ahead and choose settings. We're gonna go right to the audio tab. And you do wanna make sure your sound effects are turned up. I usually keep them pretty high, but I do lower it for videos because the sounds in the background will be a little loud for everybody as I click around. So I would keep that pretty high. Down here, sound quality is important. If it's high and it's causing some issues, I would switch it to low. So I am gonna go ahead and switch this to low, mainly because I've been having some FPS drops and low will go ahead and help out because it even says here, high quality may decrease performance. So I'm gonna try low, see if that helps out. Let me go ahead and apply that. And we're gonna go back and I'm gonna go back in fresh here. Okay, now we have the sound quality on low and 3D headphones. If you don't use visual sound effects, I do recommend 3D headphones. If you are using headphones, that really does put the sound in the right ear, but the visual effects is so huge, it's, it's hard not to use that. So those are the main settings we're looking for right now. Go ahead and accept those and go back. We're gonna minimize the game up here. If you don't have this option, you may need to use Windows key D just to show the desktop. So I'll go ahead and click on this. On the taskbar down here, we're gonna go ahead and right click, go to task manager. Here we're gonna go right to the details tab. And I'm just gonna, I go to CPU and just click it. So the highest CPU is on the top. Fortnite client will be towards the top. Sometimes it's pegged at 100%. So keep that in mind. So go ahead and right click on that. And you're gonna go ahead and choose set priority. And you're gonna put it anything higher than normal. Now keep in mind, this means when you're using the PC, the PC is going to say Fortnite has priority, so it should work the best. So anything else you have is not going to have priority, so it can steal resources from other things. When I stream, I have this above normal, and I have my streaming software above normal. That way they're on the same plateau, and then everything else is below. So I hope that helped. We're going to go ahead and choose above normal and I already have it on there. So now Fortnite's gonna take a little extra from anything else. If I have a browser open or Discord or Spotify, it's gonna take a little extra and give that a little less if it needs. So it's very important to do is a huge step. Now, if you are pegged at 100% here, there are two things you can do. One, you can upgrade your computer. <laughs> Usually everyone's like, Fortnite's so graphic intensive, but it's not. It's not GPU intensive. It's CPU intensive, which really stinks because I have a great graphics card and it barely uses any. If I go into here performance right now, you can see the GPU, 28%, 30%. The CPU is 66%. And when I'm playing, this is pretty much at 100, the CPU, and the GPU usually stays about that percentage. So I have so much more of my graphics card to use, but Fortnite just doesn't use it. They steal from the CPU as much as possible. So you may need to go ahead and upgrade your CPU. Or another thing you could do is get a program that'll help out. I have a program that I use called No Ping. I'll go ahead and put a quick ad here for you to check it out if you're interested. If not, just skip a little forward and you'll get to the next step. With no ping, it's easy. You can go ahead and get better FPS and better ping rate. All you have to do is download it, use my link down below. I may have some free keys available as well. Once you get in, go ahead and go to Fortnite, go ahead and select the server, choose your server. We're looking for US and then we're gonna look for the lowest number, so 13. 
click optimize this game we're going to go choose back and you're going to see optimize now make sure you select the cog up here and here you have boost fps you want to make sure this is turned on this is going to help your fps so this app does two things one boosts your fps so it gives you best frames per second with the settings they have you just turn it on and it'll automatically do it every time this opens second it gives you really good ping what it does is it has its own servers like a vpn and it goes to the quickest route that's faster than your current route it also has many backup systems so if it does go ahead and have a problem it just switches over it tries to keep it as stable as possible so that's no ping the links are down below if you're interested so here we have type here to search we're going to type device manager and we're going to bring that up and we're going to look for audio input and output now mine's going to look a little, lot more busier than yours but you want to find what you're looking for so for me i'll go with my headphones hyperx cloud flight wireless headset so that's the headset i use i like it a lot so I would go and right click and choose update driver. Sometimes what happens is there's a new driver update and it could make a huge difference. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. We're gonna choose search automatically for drivers. And here it says the best driver for your device has already been installed. So we're good there. I don't have to worry about this. If it does have an update, go ahead and update it. Feel free to also do it on your speakers as well or your microphone if you need to. So I could go to my microphone, update, search automatically and again the best driver windows should be keeping on top of this but at times they might miss something so it's important to do that if it's still not fixed then we got to find out where the exact issue is the best way to do it is watch a youtube video with the game closed see if the sound is delayed if it's not delayed then we know it's not a computer setting specifically now open up fortnite start playing and then see if the sound is still delayed. If the sound is still delayed, go back into the YouTube video and play it and see if there's still a delay. Now if there's a delay in the YouTube video, then most likely we are having a problem with our computer and our PC. This would mean our CPU needs to be updated. Now if the YouTube video is playing fine when Fortnite's open and Fortnite's still delayed, then we know it's not really a PC issue, it's most likely an issue with the game itself. So then we need to do something else. So we want to go into your launcher and go ahead and click on library. You want to click the three dots and then you want to choose verify. Now this is going to take some time. So make sure you have some time set aside so you can do this. This is going to verify the install to make sure the game is correct. If after this you are still having the same problem, you're most likely going to have to uninstall the game and install the game again fresh that would be your best bet to go ahead and get it set up that's the last resort though if all these other steps don't fix it usually things like setting it to high priority or using no ping will definitely get you in the right area and no ping is free to try so you can try it to see if it resolves your problem before purchasing it this is a sponsored video because they are my sponsor really stand by them and i've been using them for a long time Right now, as of December, if you would purchase it in December, if you would buy a whole year, you would get three months the gift to anybody you would like, which is a pretty cool deal. So check my link down below if you're interested. And after that, you can use my link at any time. My link will give you an extra 20% off. Those are all the steps. Let me know down below which one helped you. If none of them helped you, let me know that too. And let me know what's going on, if the YouTube video was delayed or not and I'll do my best to try to help you and get this set up. So thank you so much for watching. Here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. I also have the Echo in here, so you could check that one out if you'd like. Thanks so much, and I'll see you over there.